early childhood development centers in Midvale, children are being given a positive start. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Kaho Yabana, which means building together for children in Sisutu, is an innovative partnership that brings together the Hollard Foundation, the Department of Social Development, the Department of Health, the Department of Education, and the Midvale Local Municipality to ensure that every child is ready to start Grade R. Our vision, together with our partners, is to ensure that um, children reach their full potential in terms of developmental outcomes. Umpile is my son. He, he attended a daycare centre here at Ikusasa. He started when he was one year, eight months till five years when he graduated last year. I chose this place because of the environment, cleanliness and the education itself. It's so worthy. This January he went to school. Even before he could go to school, he knew how to write his name. Umpilo was taught by Zoleka Mpela, who owns and runs the Igusasa Bokomoso Daycare Center. My goals are, are to, to prepare the kids to readiness for schooling. She is a KYB practitioner and today, Zoleka is enrolling new children at her creche. I told them, even if you're not working, please let the child come. When you don't have enough money, you can bring your children here. They can afford to take your children care of him. Zoleka is able to accept this little boy into her crash at no cost, because thanks to KYB, she is receiving additional support. KYB helped me to comply. Now, as we are speaking, I'm receiving funds from the Department of Social Services. With the help of KYB, Zuleka was able to fulfill municipal compliance, register her centre, and this unlocked DSD funding and local resources. The day mothers, the ECD centres are doing a very valuable service. So they're performing a community service for that community. And if you go and shut them down because they're non-compliant, you being really counterproductive. So we have to try and find a way of keeping them going but getting them compliant. One of the fundamental success stories and legacies of KYB is um, how they were able to um, engage various stakeholders to come to the table and have a dialogue as to how to improve you know, um, access um, of services for children. KYB was saying, let's go find the children, find out why they are not receiving services. And the answers are in the communities where children are. And the, the solutions are exactly there as well. Today, Zoleka runs a model center, but this wasn't always the case. There was a lot of um, difficulties. Um, firstly, this place, as you see it, the shack, I've been operating in this shack. Early last year, whoa, that was the worst year of my life. Around me, there's a lot of crashes here. They are operating in their homes. Now the parents, they took their children to those crashes because I'm in the shack. The shack is not complying. Then came KYB with the park home. It's wow, it's beautiful. I like it so much and we have electricity too. Learning now happens in this park home and the infrastructure is provided by the local municipality. We have ECDs all over the place now. We've got some in the region of 24 of them that have been up and running that are situated in containers and they're fairly standard. And I think it, it's really done an amazing thing because those people who were hiding away in a little shack when you came around are now proud. They come outside, they greet you, they're happy to show you around the premises. KYB also assisted Zoleka in meeting the requirements of the local health and safety inspectors. Our inspectors are now a lot more sympathetic towards the ECD practitioners and the day mothers, and the day mothers are a lot more welcoming of our people because they know they're not going to get lambasted, they're actually just going to be assisted and corrected. So it's changed the, the whole dynamic. 
Before the KYB intervention in Midvale, a significant number of preschool children who were surveyed were suffering from malnutrition. Now, this trend has been dramatically reversed. KYB also trained us how to prepare food, easy way and a healthy way. Better nutrition has led to improved physical development and classroom learning. When we had a dietitian, you know, doing the baseline in terms of the growth monitoring, we were at 48%, you know, but after all the um, initiatives were put in place, I'm proudly to say that um, the, the latest result showed 92% growth, you know, which is quite, quite impressive, quite astonishing. In Henley on Clip, ECD practitioner Chopotso Mabokela has also been empowered by KYB. It is January now. Before KYB, it was a mess. We couldn't plan our lessons properly. We couldn't collect the relevant resources. We needed training so badly. But now we are very much organized. KYB trained Khopotso and other local practitioners with the assistance of the University of the Northwest. This is a checklist provided to us by Kahoyabana. This tool was useful to me because before I was introduced to this tool, I didn't know when to start assessing the child. Here I have no Gulunga's file. Before a child can learn how to write, he must start first by scribbling. So I'm going to file this work so that I can monitor her progress. KYB has also assisted Kopozo in becoming a more efficient administrator. This is my filing system. I have all the files that I needed by the social development and the burden of buying food has been lifted from my shoulders and I can afford to give the children the proper meals. You have quite a high percentage of children that come from the so-called informal settlement. So now uh, provision of services to those areas is also hampered by the legislations that we have in place because ordinarily when you come from um, informal settlement you have issues with bylaws in terms of compliance. So when the opportunity to implement the day mother came on board, we were quite excited as a municipality, you know, because that improves the access that we were talking about. This is Disebo Potswane. She is an ECD practitioner and day mother. The KYB Day Mother model takes advantage of existing legislation that allows women to take care of a maximum of six children at home. We were able to train about 18 day mothers, you know. So if you multiply six by 18, it tells you that how many children now um, in total that are able to access the services that previously without the day mother model, they were not able to access those services. KYB assisted Disebo in getting her shack structures compliant with health and safety regulations. She was also assisted with nutrition and ECD training. Before KYB came here, Banaba never told my fellow more more detracting, Babamba by Jad Poison, the Governor's name to have a cocomela. So KYB over if it's a we put live and over at a girl house and a banana bats a man fell a strutting. Banas very crazy house and a one at a man's strutting and a bacho melaca or by a ja, but a valley school, no bachelor's ready to bacho mel of Telabumio when our hook and city. With all of these great KYB achievements in place, what is the way forward for the Midval municipality? We have learned a lot from the partnership. And then obviously as a municipality, we want to sustain the services on our own. And we have a great support of the leadership. Um, and the leadership um, view this as, um, as one of the cornerstones of us for us being able to uh, provide services to, to, to the community. We're creating, successfully we're creating a budget vote for ECDs. You know, that means that um, that commitment for us to be able to say we can stand on our own and be able to budget for services, it is there already. There is a plan in place to carry on once KYB fall out of the picture. 
So, and that's there. The, the idea is, this is a good thing. We want to continue it. It must be perpetuated. So we will do whatever it takes.